buying expensive tools doesn't magically make you better at what you do. More advanced tools do facilitate learning and growth, but making a purchase is not a substitute for making progress. This is the first real camera I ever owned. It's 11 years old and it's broken. Tomorrow, I'm going to the Indianapolis 500 and this broken, crappy old camera is the only one I'm gonna bring. I'm on sort of a quest to reconnect with my old gear. The last video I ever shot on this camera, the EOS M, was also my first DIY video. The video was about making a custom overhead camera rig so I could film myself making things. That overhead rig is long gone at this point, but the camera mounting plate is still in my scrap wood bucket. And as it happens, that piece of wood is about the perfect width that I'm looking for. This piece of wood is a piece of the old bar from my parents' basement. That bar was really my first YouTube set. We tore that bar out a couple of years ago, but I still have pieces of it laying around. This old camera and that old bar go hand in hand. They represent a period in my life, really. A period of experimentation and learning. This was right after the pandemic started. I left college and came back home. As I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do with my life, I set up this little studio in the basement and just started making things. I developed some skills. I got better at video editing, better at working with cameras, and a little better at talking to them. Eventually, I outgrew the EOS M. The video quality was poor, the autofocus was unusable, and it was missing a lot of features. I saved up every penny I had to my name at the time and bought a Canon M50 Mark II, which had just came out. True story, I literally went to my bank and deposited my change bucket so I would have enough money to buy it after tax. I calculated it out to the cent, although I forgot to factor in gas money for the hour and a half drive to the nearest Best Buy that stocked it. I nearly didn't make it home. I tried to make the old camera work for a while. I did what I could with it. But at some point, a new one was just the right move. Now, I'm at the point with the new camera that I was with the old one. I'm modifying it to work for me, stretching it beyond its original use case. I've cut off the SD card door, removed a bunch of stuff, added a bunch of stuff. Over time, skills and needs change when it comes to tools, and you either modify what you have or buy shiny new things. I generally prefer the approach of jamming in what I have to fit to my use case for as long as I can. But lately, I've really been fighting the urge to buy a shiny new camera. So that's what this project is about. I want to prove a point to myself. I want to see what I can do with zero dollars, just with my old camera and scrap stuff I have laying around. The EOS M took a fall a year or two ago. The whole corner by the battery tray got smashed in. The camera won't turn on if the battery door is open, but because of the damage, the door doesn't quite engage the switch. So that's what this wooden base is for. It's a roundabout solution to get that door to stay shut so the camera will work again. To finish up this custom wooden handle, I just wanted to add a little more weight to the setup. I had a bunch of these lead pellets laying around, so I just filled up a hole with those and sealed it. 
I also added this magnetic slot for a washer to sit in. This is a common feature, so you have a flathead screwdriver on the go. Okay, I'm like beyond out of time. I should have left for Indianapolis like two hours ago. Um, this is basically done. I just have to wait for the wood glue to dry on this weighted part. So I'm just gonna bring my palm sander with me and on the road at some point, I'll just smooth it down and it should be good to go. Oh no. Damn, did I really do that? I think I forgot the screw that I custom made for this. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna get this to hold together now. We'll figure something out, I'm not giving up. My only hope is finding some hardware in my car somewhere and just by chance, these bolts happen to be quarter 20 threaded. The exact right thing for the camera. It doesn't hold it. I was hoping the, the threads would be tight enough that it would just hold on its own. But it's not too bad considering the circumstances of its creation. We grinding in the streets for real. Possibly a zip tie or a rubber band or something of that nature. It'll be plenty sturdy for the day shoot. When we got to the track, I started looking for anything I could use to secure the handle. My haul, one elastic cord, and two mismatched zip ties. The day's solution was the cord. Now, you might have been thinking, what's with the weird tiny lenses? Well, in the spirit of using my old tools, figured I'd use the oldest lens I have. This is the lens from my great-grandfather's home movie camera. I also have a similar old mini TV lens. These tiny C-mount lenses are some of the most inexpensive you can get. But the vintage glass in combination with my old camera, I think is going to be really special. Limitations are everything. Limitations cause innovation. Limitations fuel learning. The limitations of any art form are what make it interesting. This project reminded me to be grateful for the limitations. If the EOS M was a better camera, I wouldn't know a lot of the things I know now. Dealing with limitations in the moment can be really frustrating. But jumping back into my old world years later by using my old gear, I really got a slap in the face with how much I've learned. The same limitations that once were frustrating were now a fun thing to operate within. This used to be the only camera that I had. I used to have no money to put into it. And now, shooting with this camera for the weekend and fixing it with scrap wood is a fun experiment. It makes me think, I wonder what obstacles I'm dealing with now that I'll look back on fondly. So, I guess this is a reminder to myself to learn the lessons that I can from the limitations I have now before they're gone.
Thank you for your time, and I hope you gained something.